Greetings. Today we're going to look at the Comedic Yoga posture, Pose of Immortality. This posture is emulating the Netaru or Comedic God known as Heth. Heth is the God of infinity, also the God of infinite energy. We're also going to take a look at the burial chair of King Tut Ankhamen and the portrayal of the god Heth on this burial chair. And there are several symbols on this chair that are very sacred and have a deep meaning not only to Tunt Ankhamen, but also has a deep meaning to ourselves. So we're going to take a look at both the posture and the chair, and we're also going to have a deeper understanding of the god Heth himself and how we can relate to this Netaru based on how we live our lives as we go forward in this journey. So let's take a look at the portrayal of the comedic deity He on the burial chair of King Tunt Akamon. So we're going to start by working on the outer part of the image and then start to work our way on the inside. And we're not going to focus on every details, but just some of the key parts of this image here. So we're going to first start looking at the bottom part of the image here. What we see is two frogs which are resting on top what is called a shen. A shen is a symbol of protection. So what do the two frogs symbolize? Well, the frogs are an animal portrayal of he. So most comedic deities or netarus have their human form and then they have their animal form. So the frog is the animal form of he. And as you start to then go further up above the frog, you see this rigid type of image. This image that has these sort of uh, rigid lines in, on them. Well, this is a palm stem. And each rigid line that you see represents the time. The time in the years, the days, the time in someone's life and the time is continuing because as you go further all the way to the top of the palm stem it goes into the sun disk which represents life or light energy and that means as your life begins to progress it continues on into the light so that life is infinite and is protected as you journey forward. Now, as we see the stem go into the sun disk and it represents light, we then see the symbol of Haru with the double crown. The double crown shows that King Tut Ankhamen was the ruler of the two lands, Upper and Lower Egypt. So he had this very strong power over the land, very strong influence. Now, as we work our way into the central part of the image here, of course, we see the hieroglyphs, the Shenu or cartouche of his name. But I want to focus on is the Netaru himself, Heth, which we see in the center. So Heth, we see in a sort of posture or positioning of his body. And this is the portrayal or the influence of the comedic yoga posture, pose of immortality. And the god He, as we see, is kneeling on what is called a Nebu. Nebu translated means gold. 
gold also symbolized divinity, divine energy. And what's wrapped around one of the arms of He is the Onk symbol, which is the symbol of life. And as you can see, in each hand, He is holding on to the palm stem, meaning the possession or the present that one has with that infinite energy of life. As we start to go further up the image, we see a sun disk with the double serpents. The sun disk above the head of He is that light energy that was referred to earlier that is infinite as our life progresses beyond the physical. So the light energy, the sun, which symbolizes life, is resting on the top of the head of He. And the double serpents is a representation of both upper and lower Egypt. And the serpents in Kemet in ancient times was a symbol of protection. So it symbolizes as one progresses into the spiritual world, they are protected. They are ensured protection as they journey forward. And the double serpents are also protectors of the two lands that King Tutankhamun once ruled. So this entire image is showing that as we are moving forward in life and we understand our divine nature, we have that present, we have that possession of that divine energy as we journey forward. And even beyond our physical, once we have transitioned physically, our spirits continues to live on into the light, which is shown as the sun in this image. And as you journey forward, you are protected. So you are protected in the physical as well in the spiritual. So what we can learn from this image and what we can embody in the posture of pose of immortality is that our spirit, our energy is infinite and that we must honor it. We must be present with it. We must know that we possess this divine energy within us and that we are protected in the physical as well as in the spiritual once we know and we have an understanding of our divine selves. Hotep.